Hello everyone. In this episode, we will learn how to enable and disable a data level dynamically for Power BI visuals. Let me switch to the computer for the demo. So first I will add a one column chart. So I will go to Power BI visual gallery and from here I will add one column chart and let me adjust the size of the column chart and from the data table I will add customer on x-axis country on x-axis and total sales on y-axis so as you can see the country wise total sales now let me enable a data level here from here so I'll enable a data level and just I will expand and increase the font size of data level. So I will expand the value and from here I will just make it 30 and let me make it bold. So as you can see the data level for each bar. Now my requirement is here I want a one slicer so for enable and disable the data level. To do this, I will go to the home tab and from here, I will go to the power query editor. So I'll click on transform data. And in the home tab, you can see the one new option, interdata. So you have to click on the interdata. And here it is asking a table name. So I will say data level. Data level. And the column name is is, is level. And I will say yes, no. Yes and no. So my table is ready. I will click OK. So it will load the table in Power Query Editor. As you can see here, the table is loaded. Now from here, I will say close and apply. It will uh, take a few seconds to refresh the table. So now here you can see the new table data level is added as you can see here now what i am going to do i will select this visual and again from the data level option i will copy the some color code so first i will copy the white color code and from here i will copy this code in the notepad so let me open a notepad And here I will copy this code and then I will select a some different color and from here I will select this color maybe okay and now I'll or maybe I'll select this color and I will copy the color code in the notepad and we'll use this later and let me change some different color okay now i will write a one major now first thing i will add a one slicer from power bi visual gallery and in the slicer i will add a column is level from the data table so you can see here now i want this single selection so i will go to the slicer setting and from slicer setting in the selection i will say single selection so you can select no or yes anyone now i will write a one major here so right click and say new major and my major name is hide and show So and I will come to the next line and here I will declare a one variable SEL YN equal to 
I'll use our DAX function selected value and data level is is level. So whatever I will select from the slicer, this function will return. If I will select no, it will return and store it into a variable select yn. Now I'll close the bracket and I will come to next line. Now I will declare another variable called call is a short form of color and here I will write a if statement if s select yes no equal to yes comma next line and in the double quote I will just copy paste this color okay now comma again i'll come down now this i will again copy a white color code and i will come down and i will close the if bracket now again i will come here and i will say return call so actually this major what it does whatever i select select from the slicer yes no it will read it will store in the variable and here it will check if it is yes then return a some color code otherwise if no then return a white color code okay now i will accept this calculation from here now i'll close this i will select this visual and again i will go to the data level and in the data level again I will expand to value and from here you can see the conditional formatting option you have to click on the conditional formatting option and from format styling you have to select field value so field value and here from this fields we will expand this data level here and here you can see the major hide and show so i'll select this major and i will click on ok button so now you here you can see the no is selected so the data level is disappear if i select a yes you can see the data level no there is no data level if i'll select yes there is a data level that's all for this video and i request you to please subscribe my channel thank you for watching I kindly request you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and please like and share our content. You can also show your support by clicking the thanks button below the video. Thank you.